Plastic Model Builders. Hello, it is me, Ari Stone with Plastic Model Builder. And this is, of course, part five of our three build P51 edition. We are going to show you me finishing off the foil on this Ravel P51. It's the 148 scale. We are going to be doing the propellers and as well the wheels and attaching those. So keep watching so you can see all of that. Uh, this is the last bits of the foil going on here. I know you've seen quite a bit of those. By the way, we are also going to show you the painting of various little parts of silver, that underside you see right there with the engine and some other good stuff. So I just cut out, or finishing cutting out those exhaust pipes. And this is what it looks like, get that in there. You know, take your stick, whatever it is you're gonna use, and just buff everything out just like that make it look pretty with some model making man as you can see what it's looking like there in our next video is by we're going to start decaling this because we're getting close to that stage you see what the rest of this is looking like it's looking pretty good it looks like a p51 that's all metal taking that top piece this will go here don't need to show you all that and you can see i really wasn't worried too about that seam on the top this right here, just wrapping it up a little bit, going all the way around that. I'll show you how I do that, as well the rounder parts of that, that bevel inwards, the cones. The way I do that is I'm going to take small strips of foil, and we'll show you that here in just a second. We'll put those strips of foil on in small little strips, basically how the lines of the cone look. Get a little bit of glue on there, water it down, just like we're doing here. Once that's on there nice and good, see it's not too wet. Get a small little piece of foil, see how I angle that in there? And that's what it looks like. And it took me a while. I don't know of faster ways to do this also, maybe because I'm learning, but this is how I am doing it. And they do turn out very nicely. So we've got our propellers here. This is a uh, tester's paint pen. It's oil-based, it's their enamel paints. Just shake it up and just carefully go over these props with it. This is how I did it. This is for one of the uh, smaller kits. That is the 148 Airfix kit. You can kind of tell by the color of it and the way the blade is positioned. We're also going to show you the 132nd, which is right here. You see it's got that hole. That's for the P51D, I'm sorry, B. And of course we have the P51D. D, which is the Ravel. So we got the detail painting right here of the engine compartment. Got all these little areas here that go black. We're gonna put some silver tubing colors on here, which is just basically silver paint. Also, we are going to paint in the chromate green. There's you know, a lot of parts go chromate green. You can even see right here some of those, uh, the underside where I got that green in there. Get inside of here, because that's gotta get done side of these where the guns are right here for the radiator coolants things like that got to get inside of those it does have a little bit of a uh, grid inside of there I know it's hard to tell but it's there lightly go over this be careful don't get paint everywhere I do because you know I'm so bad at that sometimes I don't always get all the paint out of the brush and I don't let it flow properly I'm getting better so Go over the rest of the aluminum type areas here. We have some that are also on other parts of this aircraft, like our weapons bay, the rounds that go for that. Of course, we have this right here, which is the hub, and we are going to paint those as well using a paint pen this time. So you can see how that works out with the paint pen and how I do it. This is, of course, the rear wheel and of course the rear gear part of that goes silver that's how all those look and of course the tire is going to be like a blackish color when it's all said and done the paint pen does a really good job i have two of them one is fine tip marker and the other these are parts that i did not worry about putting foil on just use the silver and it does turn out fairly good with the paint doing it how i did it you can see that reflection though which looks really good and the natural metal finish of how i did it just kind of pops right on out because it's kind of gritty so I do like how it turned out get all these little areas these are the 
course where the guns fire out. And this is what I was talking about, the weapons and the shells. Paint all this silver first and I go through that, paint it with a uh, gunmetal type of color and then a light wash over the shell casings. That They will just kind of stay in there and I guess they don't ever get shot out, or do they? I don't know where they go now that you mention it. Well, I mention it since I'm the one doing the video and talking. So we've got this painted silver, I'm going to do some light other colors like I said earlier, and then we can also do the uh, inside of the engine compartment with whatever we've got left. I'm just touching up the rest of the silver areas here, and it'll go awkward. So here's that uh, interior cockpit green color that goes on a lot of planes from back then, and you see what it looks like. Just filling in the detail. Make it look pretty, model making madness. Almost done. It's been fun doing this. Remember, we do live chats, so you can chat with us live if you want, donate money. That's how I can keep building models and affording to build them because models aren't cheap, they're not free. And I like making money. So that's one half. Here is the other half. You see how that's going to turn out there. Looks wonderful. Let's get along the edge on those small little areas that are on the underside. This is the gunmetal color, giving it a light coat over all these weapons right here that go inside with the doors. And then we are going to do a light, light, light color over the uh, actual things, shells right there. I did say things because I don't always remember what stuff is called. But there are the things right there. So here I've got my oil-based fine tip paint pen. I'm buying these hobby stores and I just go around the wheel rim. See how flat that looks. It turns out really good. Gotta be careful with glosses and other colors. Um, I do go over one little area with this around that. I'm not going to show you that but I'm going to show you this. That's part of it right there, as you can see, going around that. So I guess I do decide to show you that. But this is how I do several versions of this. I go around the edge like this. That way you don't get paint everywhere. You can also spin it on a stick. I'm gonna show you how I do it that way. That way you get a general idea. And we'll also do the little wheel. And this stuff, here's that little wheel. Uh, once you get some paint on there, it'll flow into those little cracks. And it dries up, looks nicely. That's the top of this little tiny rear wheel. And then here, just so you can see how this works, goes right around that edge and quickly fill in all these little spaces right here. And this is what it looks like when that wheel is done. And here's the other one. Do that, and then I pick this one up and we just start spinning it. At least the other one we do, we spin that one. So you see that here is the uh, underside, which makes contact with the ground, runway, whatever you want to call it. Very simple stuff. That wheel is done. Got another one I'm going to show you real quick. Got a marking there, and you see I just kind of twist this, and that paint comes out. You have to be sure to shake these up a bunch because that paint does settle inside of those and you want to flow out really nice. So take this, this is the rear landing gear. Put that inside there and we're gonna put a little cap on here. It goes on just like this, paint it. Mine came out a little oily because I didn't want to shake my paint up but then I wound up having to shake the paint out because it turned out looking icky. So that's what that looks like. We are going to attach this right here to the landing gear door. So that fits in, you got the one hole up top and the two right here in the middle. Be careful with this, one side doesn't exactly fit quite right. This is for the 132nd scale, by the way. I'll show you the invasion stripe, which is on the other side of this. There it is, that's the invasion stripe. So we've got that. You can see how this goes in, make sure you put it in the right way. The thing actually did fall off of that, um, I believe, unless that's one of the other ones. But you see that there, that's what this looks like. There's the gear right there. This plane is almost done with the exception of the decals, of course. We're going to take this little wheel as well. Kind of same principle. It's got a little uh, thing on there. Glue that in place. Put this on the, the gear things, whatever, the landing gear right there. This is very flimsy, by the way, so it doesn't support very well. 
uh, these, you kind of have to hold them in place while the glue sets and dries. You'll see that uh, thin cement kind of go on in there. So the cone is totally yellow. Uh, we are painting the tip white. I use thin rubber-like tape from Tamiya. That way it goes around that curvature nice and easy. You just kind of have to pay attention to how it's marked and make sure you mark it all the way around. I'd spray this in light coats. That way we slowly build up the color of red. It's a darker red. Red's not usually my favorite color because it's a pain to get out of anything. And of course, this is the uh, base of that propeller which attaches to the cone, which also is housed with the actual props since they're not separated out. And they just keep painting this darker and darker each time. And here's another coat of that. I think I did three or four coats of this, show you most of them. And then we'll just take off our masking tape here shortly. And you can see what it looks like after it's done. So let's do that now. You see we've got all the tape on. And here's the last bit of tape. See me pulling that off all the way around. Just like so. And that's what it looks like. It came out quite decent. I was impressed with how well it worked and how well it looked. I'm using a white paint pen here to do this. I just did not feel like cleaning out my airbrush for a small bit of paint. I don't know why. I feel like, eh. Anyway, so we've got this going on right here. Go around this. This is the black part of this. Uh, that does get painted. Eventually, I wanted to try and see, since one was painted white and this is painted black, I wanted to see what the difference in tone would be. Anyway, subscribe, comment, and like, as always, and until next time, see ya!